what up, y'all? Welcome back to Ream Graphics. We're here at the studio. And this week, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys how to shoot a commercial. Now, I know there's millions of ways of how to shoot a commercial, but I'm going to show you how to do it my style. Before we even go further, I want you guys to do me a big favor. Just click the subscribe button. It takes a nanosecond to show some support so I can keep making videos for you guys. Now, a couple days ago, I was hired to shoot this commercial for Manscaped. It's a clippers company, but they sell a whole bunch of men grooming products, and it's really cool. Now, when shooting a commercial, first step I would say is figuring out what's the overall goal. What is the message that you're trying to convey on the screen? For this client, I kind of got the feeling that they wanted it to look cool, one, that it works, and they wanted to show that the clippers is waterproof. The next step is to figure out how you're going to shoot it. Now, you can get all high tech and you can get a slider or a gimbal. But for this one, I kind of felt like I wanted to shoot it freehand so I could get more creative with my movement and make it look more cool. Before I give you a breakdown of how I did everything, let's take a look at the commercial. So for the opening scene, keep in mind this whole commercial I shot handheld. So all of the motions, all of the gestures, the swiping, all of the transitions, I actually prepped the shots beforehand and I did it there. I didn't do no trickery in post-production. Maybe one tweaks as far as like speed ramps and stuff like that. But for the most part, I shot everything the way how it is there. All right, so for this first shot, I got nonstop who's like, the biggest dancer in the world. If you don't know who he is, just go Google him. You must be sleeping under a rock or something. But I got him coming in like if he just woke up. And he yawns. The yawn is just a setup so I could focus my camera on the hand and follow the hand real swiftly as he picks up the razor, does a trick with the razor, and then brings it to his face real fast. Now, with that shot, what I basically did was... I followed his hand, peak of him yawning, down to when he grabs it. I let him flip. He brings it to his face real swiftly. Now, we prepped this and practiced this a couple times before we actually shot it. So for this shot, it was a little bit tricky to do, but I wanted him to push the razor, and I wanted it to land in the garbage, which he kind of got on point. And I basically followed the razor into the garbage. But it happens so quick that you don't even see the garbage. So as I catch the razor falling into the garbage, I have this rule, it's called the left to right rule, or right to left. Whatever movement I use, I keep using that movement so it looks fluid, whatever the next shot is. It helps all my content look cohesive throughout the whole track. Now the next shot of the Manscaped Clippers coming out of the drawer, I actually shot it backwards. So it'll be easier for me to get the shot of the Manscaped focused on the actual logo and it looked like it just happened in one fluid motion. So I shot it backwards so in post-production I could reverse it and it'll end up on the logo. Now this next shot of nonstop looking at the clippers is sort of like a connection shot. So I wanted to shoot it from beneath so I could get the clippers and him, his emotion, everything in one shot. And it'll be easy for me to follow him into him looking at himself in the mirror in one fluid shot. From that shot, I basically did a close up, a real tight shot. Um, I had a Sigma 35 lens, but I made it super tight, close in, and shot a shot of the razor real close to his skin so it could show that it actually cuts really well. And then I got a slow mo shot. Slow motion is really the key. If there's no dialogue and you want stuff to look dramatic, slow motion is like the secret weapon for that. Now, this next shot is actually a couple of the Manscaped products that I wanted to implement into the commercial, but I didn't want it to look cheesy. So I used that left to right rule that I was using from the beginning 
And I showed that and I let it transition into him shaving his beard. Now, the way how I kind of did that, this is where I use speed ramping. I did a little slow motion. And then when I got close to it, I sped it up right there until it's all black. And then I can connect it with my next footage because I'm already coming from left to right. And it'll come right back in to him cutting his beard. So it looked like one fluid motion, like it was shot one time, which is pretty cool. Now from this, I really didn't have a way there that I was transitioning into the next shot. So in post-production, what I did was I speeded up a little bit. I threw a little motion blur and I made it go left to right like this. If you notice, I made it go left to right. That way it could come in left to right and show the razor underneath water. So these series of shots is to show that the Clippers is actually waterproof. So I had him washing it underneath the faucet and me just coming in slow motion. And then I got another shot from the other side showing the same thing. But what I did was speed ramp it a little bit so he could put it down. And then I zoomed in on his face. Now, when I zoomed in on his face, he was washing his face. I zoomed in until it turned black. And then I took another shot, me coming out, and he's wiping his face with the towel and put that shot together. Now, that's not really the left and right rule, but it's the same theory pulling it out. So it looked like one fluid shot. Now, this shot is actually a longer extended version where he actually throws it up, changes his clothes, dance, and then as he walks off, he's catching it. But for the short version, it still has the same effect. I had him throw it up and I cut it right before it landed. Now, the last shot is probably one of the most difficult shots. I shot this in reverse as well, just so I could focus the last shot on the actual clippers. And it came out really dope. What I had him do was hold it, put his hand down, throw it up. And then in post-production, I just reversed the whole thing. And it ended off with him holding up the Manscaped clippers. Now, this style of shooting commercials is not for everybody. But if you think that this is something you can do, my advice would be to prep your shots, write down how you want it to look. That way you can rehearse it with your subject or your client or whoever is the actor in your commercial so you guys could do it together. Me and Nonstop had some good chemistry because we practiced beforehand each movement so he could understand where the camera is going to be so he knows where to exaggerate, uh, where to let loose, where to move fast, where to move slow and stuff like that. And there you have it. That is how you shoot a commercial, my friend. Difference between me and them? I make this look good. All right, guys. Don't forget to check out my new website. It's full of so many plugins. I got transitions. I got LUTs. I got overlays. I got titles. I got anything you could think of having to do with film. And it's all surrounded around Final Cut Pro. All right? This week, I'm giving away a free Zoom 3D transition. So I really want you guys to go on the website, check it out, download it. And don't forget to subscribe, please. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I beg you. I'm out. Y'all always got me begging. <laughs>